with it since uh, my wife and I first attended the ET party in, in Norwich in 2009. I don't know how many of you know the philosopher Dennis Prager, but he was on a panel in 2008 talking about the upcoming elections. He was on the panel with Sarah Palin, by the way, and he was saying the election was not about Barack Obama. It was about a nation that would elect a Barack Obama. This election in 2012 is really an election for the soul of America. It really is. It's not just trite. It's, it's, it, it really is because Obama is trying to take down this country. Everything that made this country what it is, which made it the most prosperous and freest nation in the history of the world, is being dismantled by this man. He spent, he didn't really grow up or spend many of his childhood years in the United States. He was in Indonesia. But even when he was in this country, he was mentored by very far left people through his whole career. And I'm sure many of you have heard this on Sean Hannity, but one of the things my wife and I did in 2008 was to put together a website which went through Obama's radical past. It's, called, it's on sensiblechange.org. And this election is very critical. And even though we've all had our favorites in, in the primary process, it is critical that we all come together to support and affect the Republican candidate. I mean, it looks like it's going to be Mitt Romney. He wasn't my first choice, but I will certainly support him because he's far better than the alternative. No question. Far better. And so I'm going to get behind him. Um, Joe Courtney was brought up, and I just wanted to say a few words about Joe Courtney. It is unbelievable to me that anybody in this district, if they're paying attention, could vote for this man. If we're just talking about the Obama administration, since 2009, he sold us the stimulus bill on the grounds that it was for shovel-ready jobs, jobs that Obama later admitted he didn't even know what they were, what shovel-ready jobs were. We now know that less than 10% of the over $800 billion that was spent on the stimulus was for shovel-ready jobs. Many of the, much of that money, in fact, went to support bankrupt state governments that were bankrupt because of the public sector unions that are bankrolling the Democratic Party today. All of those problems were, were underwritten by, by that stimulus money. That's where it went. And Courtney was selling it on the grounds that it was for, for shovel-ready jobs. Then he sold us cash for clunkers, another boondoggle that wasted millions of dollars taking good cars off the road and, and again, wasting untold millions of dollars on a, a complete boondoggle. Then he supported something called cap and trade. Cap and trade is based on the fraud of a global warming crisis. Global warming, global temperatures have gone up and down for eons ever since the Earth has been here. Over the 20th century, temperatures have increased, according to the UN now, three quarters of one degree. And that's according to land-based temperature measurements. In actuality, the satellite measurements show that it's probably half of that. And it took place within a period of about 20 years, most of it between 1978 and 1998, and now the temperatures have stopped <laughs> rising. But based on that, Obama, the radical environmentalists, Democratic Party want to turn back Western civilization. It's insane. It's, in fact, the greatest scientific fraud in history that we should engage in this. And yet that is what is driving Obama's energy policy, his environmental policy, his radical EPA, are all driven by this irrational fear of carbon dioxide. They treat it as if it was carbon monoxide or something. They don't understand the science. Carbon dioxide is a beneficial element that makes plants grow. 
Increasing carbon dioxide is beneficial to life on Earth, and yet they've turned it in to a devil because it's a way in which they can exert control. They can't exert control by trying to control the orbit of the Earth or the sun's output. They can only do it by selecting something that affects every one of us. So Joe Courtney bought into this whole lie and was telling us that cap and trade was going to cost us the equivalent of one postage stamp a day for, for, for each family. At the time he was lying to us about that, the Treasury Department came out with a study and said that cap and trade was going to cost each family per year $1,746. That was probably an underestimate. The Heritage Foundation has said it would be three to $4,000 by 2030. Unbelievable. And that we would inflict that kind of pain on our economy over that inconsequential and increase in temperature, which isn't even largely caused by man. It's caused by natural forces. But people have bought into this lie. And if you ask people about global warming, they'll say, oh, but a, a consensus of scientists believe this. Well, I said, well, what is the temperature right now? How much has it increased? No, none of them can answer that. Ask a politician that. Ask them some of the basic science. They can't tell you. And then we have Obamacare, the, the court finished. The biggest disaster, potentially, in American history. Not only the 2,700 pages that were passed, but the already 10,000 pages of regulation. The thing you have to understand about Obamacare, it's, it is about control. And the control has been passed from Congress that didn't read it to the unelected bureaucrats in Health and Human Services that will implement it. It's been effectively passed to the bureaucratic arm of the government under the executive branch. It's the most massive transfer of power in the history of the United States to unelected people. So all of these things are a real threat. And if you don't have good people in office, this is what we get. You can only hope that the Supreme Court is going to overturn it. And um, a number of us went down a few weeks ago to rally on behalf of the uh, overturning Obamacare. But it's essential that we all get out and get involved in this election cycle and make sure we get rid of Obama and we get rid of Courtney and all the other Democrats who are representing us in Washington because if we love freedom, we have to do it. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.